Hi everyone! In this video, I will show you how to create an org chart with the Chartify plugin. You can use org charts for organizational and supervisory communication, such as helping employees know who reports to whom or helping people get to know each other across the organization, or just to display the structure of the company and so on. If you are ready, let's to create an organization chart together. As a chart builder plugin is already installed and activated, let's just go to the WordPress dashboard, find the Chartify plugin from the left sub menu and click on it. Here you can see the add new button. Just click on it and choose the organization chart type from the eight types. As I already created the chart to not waste your time, let's see the next steps on it. The first thing that you should do is to type in the title of your chart in the title field. Now, by scrolling a little bit, you can see the live preview of your chart on the left side and the settings on the right side. So we can make changes and preview the chart at the same time. The first and most important point is to choose a source of importing data. We can choose between four sources. You can import data from the file. As I can see, we can import the CSV file. But don't forget to click on the Save Data button to save the changes. Choose the Connect to Google Sheets variant and by enabling the Google Sheets integration, just create a dynamic charts. And the Connect to the Database source. Here also, by connecting your database, your information is displayed and you will have a dynamic chart as well. But don't forget to save your changes by clicking on the Save Query button. By choosing the last variant, you should import data manually. Here you have to be very careful to make the arrangement correctly and not confusing their places. Just head to the name to whom you want to add a new branch. If it is the first one, just click on the Add New Child button. Let's see how it works by typing a name. As you can see, Alice, Jane and Jim are in the same positions. Now, let's head to the second name, Jim, and understand what we have here. By clicking on the Add New Child button, we can add a person who is in the same position as Bob. By clicking on the Add New Sibling button, we can add a person who is in the same position as Jim. By clicking on the Being button, we can remove the branch. You can do the same steps with each branch. But now, let's do some changes by clicking on the Change for Options button. Here you can type in the name or uh, just remain in the same if it is a newly created branch or change the name of the branch that already exists. So let's do some changes. The same you can do with the description and with the tooltip. Click on the Change button to save the changes and to see the result on the chart. After each change, you can click on the Shown Chart button and see your change on the chart. If everything is ready, just click on the Save and Close button for saving your chart. I think that our chart is already ready, so we can preview it. Copy the shortcut of your chart, head to the Post, Add New button and type in the title and post your shortcut here. As you can see from the result, creating a stunning, functional and useful org chart with the Chartify plugin is just too simple. I hope this video helps you to create your organization chart. Thanks for watching us. See you soon. Bye.